my name is Joris van Kershauer, and I'm originally from Bruges um, in the north of uh, Flanders. And I went to the United States uh, in 2007, 2008, and I uh, did research in applied math at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California. First of all, I've always wanted to go to the United States um, just because it's a different continent, it's a different environment. Um, and secondly, while I was doing my PhD, I noticed that um, research, the research climate in the United States was so much better um, and so much more productive than what I found at home. And I, I really jumped at the opportunity to go and, and do research in the United States. But mostly it was for, for the adventure, really. I went to the United States with um, the express goal of doing research in my specific field, but then I ended up meeting so many different people and hearing about so many different, um, well, I wouldn't say career options, but just possibilities in life and different avenues to explore that now I'm even I would say a bit overwhelmed by the possibility of, or by the sheer volume of choice that there is out there. So while I was in the United States, uh, of course, I spent a lot of, uh, of my time working um, and getting my research done. But then apart from that, I, I also try to um, meet new people. And I'm glad to say that I met my wife in the United States while I was on the Fulbright. So and that's, that's one way in which, um, well, Fulbright definitely exceeded my, my goals because I, I never could have envisioned uh, anything like that before leaving. I would say that people should explore um, whatever options are available both in the home country as well as abroad. I've seen that um, often it's not as difficult as it appears on first sight to get uh, at least partial funding from abroad, but it requires having a strong file, having a good idea of what your research is going to be about in case of research scholars, and then um, also making a good case for it with your prospective host or uh, with the person that you're, you'll be interacting with. But on the whole, I found, I found um, the funding actually one of the least worrisome aspects of my whole trip abroad. If there's anything I would have done differently, it's that I would have uh, applied for a Fulbright scholarship earlier in my career. And apart from that, um, well, my advice would be try to get as strong of a file as you could get. It will benefit you. Um, in more ways than just by, uh, for the application process. But apart from that, no, I don't think I can recommend anything else except for if you haven't started working on it today, um, start as soon as possible. It's fun and it'll help you a lot. That's my main advice. So when you go to the United States, I would recommend just talk to anybody that uh, you encounter. It doesn't matter if they're in academia, doesn't matter if you just randomly meet them in a coffee shop, just talk, 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 and live every moment of your Fulbright scholarship. Wanneer je naar de Verenigde Staten vertrekt, um, zou ik aanraden om zoveel mogelijk met iedereen waarmee je in contact komt, zoveel mogelijk te praten. Um, Fulbright geeft je de kans om met een heel hamme van heel interessante mensen in contact te komen. En ook de, de mensen die je gewoon um, op straat tegenkomt of die je. Um, tegenkomt in het dagdagelijkse leven, hebben we heel vaak heel interessante dingen te zeggen. Dus ik zou zeggen van ga ervoor en praat met iedereen en blijf niet thuis zitten, maar ga naar buiten.